When the award was set up, it must have taken immense vision to create what has become such an extraordinary organisation around the world. Well, since the award was first started in 1956 and almost immediately it spread overseas, the Duke himself played a huge role. The Duke of Edinburgh hit on a formula that works for young people and it's still as relevant today as it was in 1956. I've always felt that this was a man whose passion uh, was just so self-evident, so infectious, you couldn't but be moved by it. There are millions of young people around the world who can thank the Duke of Edinburgh for having let them believe in themselves. Throughout the award's history, the Duke wasn't just a figurehead. The Duke of Edinburgh was integral in making sure that the organisation worked. My memory is always, uh, whenever I have had the privilege of encountering His Royal Highness Duke of Edinburgh, is of being challenged. This sense of, you know, get on with it. <laughs> you know, don't just uh, talk about it, do it. And the Duke's interest in young people and the power of what young people can achieve, I think stayed with him for the whole of his life. The Duke of Edinburgh leaves us not just memory of the man and his uh, passionate engagement, but he leaves us with an institutional legacy, and the award is his living memorial. I believe the Duke of Edinburgh thought that Young People Award should have the same kind of experiences, be able to share the same values and attitudes across the world to make societies better. I think the Duke would feel immensely proud, but in a very quiet way, of what he has been involved with and what he has put his name to. His Royal Highness has impacted upon and has taken to great heights his life's work. We all owe him a massive sense of gratitude. Hamba Kale, Your Royal Highness, go well. I think the Duke of Edinburgh was an amazing man and I'm very, very lucky to have had the opportunity to have known him. And I think generations of young people have him to thank for changing the course of their lives. <laughs>